in terms of light, for photography, light is really everything. Light, uh, to me, it's almost uh, mystical. So, my name is Philip Raby. I'm a professor in the Broadcasting for Contemporary Media program at Durham College. I teach, among other things, uh, photography, uh, image processing, and uh, television uh, webcasting. So when I first started taking photographs, uh, Right out of college, I was working for a newspaper as a reporter photographer, and we didn't have digital cameras back then. Uh, we were still shooting on film. With film, lighting was super critical, and getting the exposure right in the camera was very critical because we couldn't review the photo instantaneously like you can now. There was no looking at a screen to see if you got the photo right. You were dependent on the light meter in the camera, or sometimes just on your own basic knowledge. I think even before I was uh, involved with cameras and lenses, there was something about light that really captured my imagination. I remember even as a child lying in the grass or floating on the water and allowing the light just to fall over me and through squinting and looking through, you know, binoculars or little slits in paper and stuff, I would, I would kind of control the kind of light that I was looking at. And I always found light absolutely fascinating. Uh, now, of course, there's two kinds of light when you're talking photography. There's natural light, which is how this interview is being shot, uh, just through window light, basically. Or there's artificial light. So however you use those, it's still about getting the right quality of light. You want to have ratios of lighting. You want to have lightness and shadows and contrast that creates a kind of drama on the face. Well, there's a handful of directors and cinematographers or combinations of people that, that make film that will still always stand as, you know, kind of the high watermarks for me. You know, Scorsese and uh, Kubrick is probably one of, was probably one of my favorites. And um, Barry Lyndon was completely shot uh, with this incredible lens that allowed him to light the entire scene from within the frame. And this was one of Kubrick's kind of trademarks. You really felt like you were experiencing the scene. So I was always really uh, fond of the, of the way he dealt with light. Uh, in terms of photography and videography, really, light is really everything. Without good light, you don't have a, a good photograph. Professional photographers are trained to look for really good light. They, they really seek out those golden moments of the day, those times kind of in the early hours and the later hours, especially if you're doing landscape photography or travel photography. Getting that good quality of light, because you can get enough light anywhere, but getting that good quality of light is what's really critical to making a an average photo into a really good photo. I'm sure many of us have watched a storm moved in and watched that beautiful warm light suddenly turn to gray and then all of a sudden go to sort of a greenish. And I mean, our response to those kinds of changes in the environment around us, it's undeniable. Light is probably the most important thing to me when it comes to looking at how I, how I do my craft.